In a courtroom on the stand, we are not allowed to have our friends and family by our side to hold our hand or whisper encouragement. But people are allowed to seek support in an animal who can provide comfort and strength. In some cases, this helping paw can be the key to both the witness and the case. It all started when a white boxer was born. He was named Carl, and he was instantly loved. However, finding a home for him would be difficult because he was completely deaf in both ears. Luckily, one woman didn't seem to mind. Joanne Hart Rittenhouse was a dog lover who was happy to adopt Carl, even if it meant facing a more difficult training process. It's easy to teach a dog tricks with verbal commands, but getting a pup's attention with eye contact alone isn't. Before adopting Carl, Joanne already had three boxers, all of which became therapy dogs. Once Joanne and Carl had established some sign language commands, the pooch proved to be incredibly sympathetic and well-behaved. Impressively, Carl learned over 100 signs. The only problem was that while Joanna knew exactly how to communicate with him in detail, most people couldn't. If Carl was going to work with people who needed him, they would need to learn some signs. Except Carl would not grow up to be a regular support dog. He would become a therapy dog who calmed and encouraged children who had to testify in court. His disability would actually play to his advantage. While most dogs are easily distracted by sounds, the bang of the gavel, the whispers among the crowd, the outrage of the lawyers, Carl didn't have this problem at all. Instead, he could stay focused on the child on the stand. Through a program called Companions for Courage, Carl was assigned one case after another. Laura Brimmer, a K-9 circuit program manager, compared him to bikers. As soon as the kids realize the biker is there for them, they want the biggest one they can find, she said, and I think it's the same with the dog. Even though Carl's size could be comforting to some, a big dog could still seem intimidating to kids, which is why he was usually seen donning a blue cap, but Carl showed off more than just his fashion sense. Before any actual hearing, children are always prepped in addition to taking part in several depositions, and Carl was there for them through it all. According to Susan Beth Crumpler, assistant state attorney, therapy animals can be enormously helpful during these sessions. The trick to ease the communication between Carl and his pupils was to simplify certain gestures and teach them to the children several times before trial. This way, they could ask him to come closer, put his head on their lap, lie down next to them, and do anything else they needed for comfort. Carl became a pro, though one particular instance pushed his skills to the limit. One specific case in 2016 proved that animals like Carl can be crucial to the child's testimony. A young girl was brought into the courtroom and asked to testify about a man who had sexually assaulted her. Naturally, she was absolutely terrified. She knew the gentleman who had wronged her was going to be in that courtroom, and she really had a fear to go in front of him and tell him what he did to her. Joanne Hart Rittenhouse explained. When the young girl first met Carl, she took to him right away. Is he going to protect me? She asked Joanne. Once she was convinced that Carl would be at her side no matter what, both literally and figuratively, she felt brave enough to head into the courtroom. One can only imagine what it's like for a child to have to recall and describe the horrors that have been inflicted upon them, especially in front of a crowd of strangers and even more so if the accused party is present. Who wouldn't be terrified in a situation like that? It was no surprise then to the courtroom when the young girl froze up in the middle of the hearing. She didn't utter a word. She was overcome by fear. Unfortunately, without her testimony, the case would not be easily won, and her attacker could go free. But then she looked down. Carl's friendly face looked up at her, and she remembered that, with him by her side, she could be brave. She signed for him to come closer, and he laid underneath her seat. Although she couldn't reach all the way down to pet him, she still needed to feel him there. So she did something surprising. She kicked off her shoes and gently ran her feet through his fur, petting him and assuring herself of his comforting presence. At last, she could answer all the questions and describe the events that had led to them being in that courtroom. With Carl's help, the little girl bravely got a sick man off the streets. 
Aside from court cases, Carl has made appearances in libraries and hospitals. Will be there as long as the child wants Carl to stay in their light. He's helped a lot of children, said Joanne, who couldn't be prouder. He has become so popular that he's got his own coloring book. He's shined a light on other dog heroes, too, 